One of the reasons we use spreadsheets is that they can do repetitive tasks for us. For example, say I want this text to appear in lots of cells. Well, one way I could do it is to type it myself. Another way would be to go to edit, and copy, and click, and edit, and paste. Or I could use the keyboard shortcuts, propeller C and propeller V. But even that's fairly slow compared to one of the features of spreadsheets, which is the drag copy. Now with the drag copy, all I do is click on the cell that has the information I want to copy, go to the corner, and now you'll notice the cursor changes to a little crosshair. I click, hold the mouse button down, and drag, and you can see it's selecting some other cells there, and then it copies the contents down. And it also works across our rows, so if I click in a cell, click in the corner, hold the mouse button down and drag, and it will copy the contents. Now that's nice and quick, and that's nice and helpful, but it's even more powerful. Let's have a look at this next sheet. On this sheet, I've got one Monday in January. Now again, if I copy, I drag copy, I click and I drag, you'll see it copies the one all the way down, just as we'd expect. And the same with the Monday, and the same with the January. But what's really special about spreadsheets and the drag copy is there's a slight intelligence to it. For example, if I've got a one and a two, and I highlight the two cells and drag copy, it works out that there's a pattern there, and then it increases the number by that gap every time. And with days, I select the two cells, drag copy down, it works out that they're days of the week, and it copies uh, the days of the week down. Now I've just got a little bit of truncated data, so I'm just going to change the size of that cell, that's better. And it also works with months too, so I'll select those two and drag copy down and you can see that says January, February, March, April and it's worked out the next month to appear. Now here's a lovely little thing it also does, look at this, 2, 4, if I highlight the 2 and drag down, what's going to happen? It works out the pattern, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. So that's brilliant. That's really useful for um, adding labels to our columns and our rows. Now let's have a look at what else it can do. Now here on sheet 3, um, I've got column A, I've got column B, and I'm going to work out the total of these numbers. So I'm going to add them together. So I'm going to put in a formula. I'm going to put equals, and let's pick a 2, and let's add b2 and it works out the total and if I want to put the same formula in each of those normally I would type it in but again the drag copy works and when you drag copy instead of copying the formula exactly a2 to b2 what it will do as it goes down it will recognize that this is a new row and it will increment the numbers, so they'll become A3, A4, A5 as we go down. So let's just see if that's true. So I drag down, we get our totals. Let's show the formula, let's see what's happening. And you can see it has indeed just increased the numbers as we go down. Now, let's just look at the results again. And you can see it's added those up nicely. Let's go to sheet four and see that this works going across the columns as well. So if I'm going to work out the average, so this time it's equals average, open my bracket, I'm gonna highlight the numbers in there. So you can see it goes from B1 to B5. Now, this time as I drag across, the rows will stay the same. So we still want it to be uh, one to five but it will be the column that changes. So again, I'm going to drag copy. 
it works out the averages for us if I show the formula and let's just expand that so we can see them you can see that it is b1 b5 c1 c5 d1 d5 e1 e5 so it's changed the column each time now that's great for us because it saves us so much time when we've got lots of repetitive formulas to do uh, as in our example here it saves us typing it in again and again and again for each column 